Welcome to New Life Live with host and founder of New Life Ministries, Stephen Arterburn. New Life Live is dedicated to transforming lives one at a time, thanks to the giving hearts of you, our listeners. Our goal is to provide you with wisdom from God's Word to give you hope and help in life's hardest places. If you have a question you'd like to ask today, our phone lines are open. Call 1-800-229-3000. That number again is 1-800-229-3000. Now here's Steve. Welcome to New Life Live. Really glad you're with us here today. We're live in the studio with Dr. Alice Benton and Chris Williams. Hi, guys. Hey, hey. Gentlemen. Hello. How are you? Uh, we're doing good. Hey, I I actually woke up with um, that, that contagion of anxiety that's going around mm-hmm. right now. And so I jumped on a call, a Zoom call, with about um, five other guys from uh, – they're actually from around the world. They all own group practices, and we sort of have this – um, uh, we share ideas, but really this morning it was a support group. And I'm mm-hmm. telling you, by practicing what we preach, by connecting with other people that are feeling the same things and going through the same things, it's just been a complete reset on my day. And I'm ready to go. I'm ready to, to, to conquer whatever God has in, uh, for us to do today. This stuff we that talk about here, it hear. actually works. <laughs> you know, really you, you put it in yeah. practice and look what happens. Yeah. We're, we're singing. I'm singing a lot of hymns at my house, and it's both a good sign and a bad sign. It means mama's <laughs> yes. at her last bit of patience. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Lord, come now, help us. Yes. But it also works. <laughs> yeah. Uh-oh. Well, they're like, mom singing, come thou fount, <laughs> head for the hills. <laughs> Oh, dear. Well, it is great to have a little music there, and humor is always good. And I, Diane Gresham, the person that takes care of all of the finances here at New Life, uh, sent out this. And I want to read these throughout the program, but here's some really um, some good things at, that I'll just start off with. By the way, if you want to join us on the program, 1-800-229-3000. We'll be here for two hours, 1-800-229-3000. But listen to this. Uh, these are some good things that are happening. Truckers said, we will drive days on end getting supplies to the stores. Store workers are stocking the shelves all night, and store managers said, we're going to let elderly people shop first in the mornings. Carnival Cruise Line told Trump, we can match those big Navy hospital ships, Comfort and Mercy, with some fully uh, staffed cruise ships where we'll turn them into hospitals. Uh, GM said, we can make those ventilators where we were making cars starting next week. We will Mm. retrofit our manufacturing equipment immediately. Restaurants said, we have kitchens and staff and we can feed kids whose parents need Mm. some help. I'll just read a couple more. NBA basketball players and owners said, hold our basketballs while we write checks to pay the arena staff. And the wealthy said, here we will donate funds for research and support of beating this virus. I'll read some more of these uh, throughout the program, but there are good things happening, and uh, I really do believe that we are called for this time. Mm, and yeah. uh, as our uh, son uh, James said uh, to his mom, "This is our assignment." And and uh, other people have had other assignments. It maybe the depression, or it's it's a war, or something that they've been through. But this is our assignment, and we want to do it well. And doing it well, we want to trust God, but we also want to do what Paul told Timothy to do. He said, be prepared whether uh, the time is favorable or not. And this morning in our devotions, uh, Larry Sonnenberg read something Martin Luther wrote in 1527 when some pastors asked him about fear and all this. and, And he wrote this, I shall ask God mercifully to protect us. Then I shall fumigate. (laughs) I just (laughs) love that. Uh, That's what we need to do. Ask God to do what he can do and do what we can. 1-800-229-3000. We'd love to talk to you. Whatever's going on in your life, we want to know about it. We want to help you deal with it. Uh, God is real. We believe that God is there for you right now, and uh, we want to help you find him. Call us, 1-800-229-3000. We'll be back right after this for more New Life Live. 
For years, all I did was focus on my husband and my needs were unmet because of his sexual addiction. The counselors focused on him and all the books I read were about him and how to help him. My name is Shelly Martinkus and I want to personally invite you to the Restore Workshop. If you have been affected by betrayal, it might be that your husband has been looking at pornography, it might be an emotional, a physical affair. I would love for you to come join us. This weekend gives me permission to now focus on me. You will leave with hope, with a community of sisters ready to support you, and you will also leave with tools to move you forward on this journey. I am so thankful to New Life for giving me what I know now is going to be a new life. The Restore Workshop is coming to Dallas June 26th through the 28th. Call 1-800-NEW-LIFE to find out more. That's 1-800-639-5433 or online at newlife.com. To find out more information about New Life or to order any of the resources mentioned on today's program, call 1-800-NEW-LIFE. Now back to New Life Live. We're back, Steve Arterburn here. We've got a friend on the line. It's uh, John Townsend. Hey, John, how are you? Hey, Steve, I'm doing good. And i just been listening to you talk, talk about the various passages of the Bible about what's going on and certainly I'm praying for the New Life family. Thank you. Now, tell us what you're doing to help folks during this time, because it's helpful. Well, yeah, it's a hard time, Steve. And so what we're doing is that I'm starting a weekly live interactive Facebook live event once a week. It's called it's called Tools for Living in Crisis because people need specifics. They need tools right now. And so it's going to have a lot of things that I'm learning from the research and the readings and what I'm learning about how to handle times that are uncertain. But I want to have something weekly so people can at least feel like there's something certain for them. So uh, it's tomorrow is our first day. It's at 10 o'clock um, Pacific time. Now, if you're at that time and you're watching and you're listening to New Life, don't keep listening to New Life. That's the, that's the family. But I'll, t I'll tell people at that event, it's for, tw it's for 30 minutes from 10 to 10 30, what they can do, things they can do about their day, things they can do when they're quarantined, when they're worried and scared about their kids or about jobs or about health or about finances. We have a lot of research to tell them, and we'll answer their questions live as well. It'll be every week for the four. Basically, I've, I've cleared the schedule for that for every week for the, you know, for the, the, for the future until this thing resolves, Steve. Okay, so how do they um, connect with you and that? Yeah. Just go to Facebook, the, Dr. John Townsend, go to the events tab. You know, there's always a tab for somebody's events. And we're yeah. going to put it out on my website, too. It's a link, so you can go to the link very quickly. Hit the link, and you'll be on there. It's called Tools for Living in Crisis, Dr. John Townsend on Facebook. Okay, John. Uh, you guys, it'll be helpful if you go there. And uh, thanks, John. I'm glad you're doing this, and uh, we'll talk to you real soon. Okay, buddy? All right. Sure praying for the New Life family. Let's all hang in there, Steve. You bet. All right. The John Townsend, he's um, he's a good one, and uh, we love him, and he's doing great stuff, and he can give you a little bit of help there. A lot of things going on. Uh, one of the things I'm doing, if you've got kids at home, Kirby McCook and the Jesus Chronicles, I'm reading this chapter a day on uh, Facebook. Uh, you could get that. We're doing a Facebook Live every day at 5 o'clock Eastern time, uh, and then that'll be posted. So uh, doing a lot of things here, doing the 10 ways that we can overcome our uh, fears and anxieties so there are a lot of things that you can access our video library that's normally just for club new life we've opened it up to everybody so go to newlife.com some of these videos they'll change your life i mean i'm not kidding all right let's go to the phones 1-800-229-3000 and uh, i'm going to talk right here uh, to faith from houston texas listens on sirius xm satellite radio 131 uh, at uh, 1 p.m. Eastern Time. How you doing? What's going on with you today? Faith, you're on. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm talking to the mute button. I apologize. <laughs> um, no problem. <laughs> thank you so much for taking my call. Um, how sure. are we doing? Very upset. Um, my question, I've written it down, and I can give you some background. It's okay. How do I help my 14-year-old daughter... She's, I'm trying to read this without crying. She's mm. partaking in sex tags in the bathroom in school during PE when she's out of sight. 
um, this last like. Well, six tell me, months. she's doing. She's yeah. she's doing what? What is she doing at school? She's partaking in sex acts in the bathroom okay. at school oh, dear. with boys okay. out by the PE track. You know, out of the sight of the teacher. She's probably had twenty five tardies that we just now put all this together. I read oh, her journal and found this information. We have not talked to her yet. I've been trying to get a hold of you guys for the last three days because uh-huh. I want your okay. input. Before. We don't want to yeah. send her deeper into rebellion or say the wrong thing or shame her okay. and scare her. Um, How old is for she? For the last 14. How old is she? She's 14. 14. Okay. Yeah. And, and, and other you, other than this, you, did did you think she was everything was going okay with her? Her grades have fallen. Um, Mm. She's extremely messy. We've wondered if she's ADHD. She's always had straight A's up until this year. She's Mm -hmm. hated school. She's recently started liking it, obviously, because of this, I think. Um, She snuck out a week or two ago at a friend's house, and they went over to a boy's house um, Mm. and did some things that were sound awful. And then a police officer drove them home, but we never knew about it. I just found that in her journal. Not in my house, at her friend's house, which she's not normally yeah. allowed to spend the night out. Her dad let her. We're divorced. Um, you know, we're both broken over this, though. Um, I, she can see it all over my face. She knows I'm upset. Um, okay. I, I know she'll, she'll, the two was called the school. We've talked with the principal, and um, they're, you know, agreeing to, to help us, you know, to not allow her to go to yeah. the bathroom, to look at the cameras, but we need to talk to her yeah. and we need to help her. Yeah. Yeah. And um, we don't know what to do. Okay. Well, I'm so glad you called because um, we, we want to help you do the right thing. And if we can help you do that, uh, I think you're going to be, as painful as it is, you're going to be grateful that you discovered this at 14 rather than 16 and a half or something like that where you don't have a lot of time to kind of reprogram and reboot here um, so I'm gonna start uh, with Alice and I'm gonna ask her what do you think Alice I mean this 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 is it's you know I say this all the time it's not what happens it's how we respond to what happens that makes all the difference in the world and I'm glad that both uh, your ex-husband and you are both really upset about this, and maybe you can come together on this. But, Alice, what's your initial thought here? Well, I want you to keep in mind, Faith, the, the biblical principle of responding with grace and with truth and with a lot of grace. And if you can identify whether it's the divorce or any other big change or loss in your daughter's life, I'd probably lead with that, something like, I know that our divorce has affected you. There have been so many changes in our home, and this year has been particularly hard for you. Would you tell me how you're feeling and how you're doing with it? I give her that chance first to try to draw her out and acknowledging that things the adults have done in her life have, have broken her world, have shattered her world. But then I think I would gently bring in, I've found out a few things that are going on, and you and I need to talk about them. We need to address these together. And I'm going to take some actions to keep you safe as well. And I want to hear your thoughts about it. But hopefully you can you can bring your, your ex-husband in on this, that your father and I are going to come together here. We're going to get you some help. We're going to get you in with a therapist. But we're also going to have to limit some things, interactions with friends, to be able to keep you safe because we love you that much. And so this is we're, these, these are the, the moves we're going to make to love you well during this time. Okay, now, Faith, quick question here. When uh, Alice says, um, you know, I want to hear... Um, how the divorce and things uh, have impacted you and all, or how you're feeling about that. Have you had conversations like that with her before? We've been divorced since she was two and a half, and it's been um, a nightmare for 10 years. Uh Things have finally just calmed down. I've finally gotten custody of her, knowing that when I did, it would be right at a critical time of her teenage years and hormones. And all of that, but it's been awful. I mean, it's so, been horrible. So he's talk. had. She's been in therapy. He's had custody of her all this time. Fifty-fifty. I now have uh-huh. primary. Okay. Um, all right. She's and there's a lot of anger on his side and control, and so she's been verbally abused for years. Okay. 
Okay, so Alice is saying, um, you know, first of all, you, you start with connecting with the pain that she's been through. Chris, what are your thoughts when you're hearing this? Uh, as I'm hearing this, uh, Faith, your response is appropriate because your daughter is in crisis. And it's a pretty serious mm -hmm. crisis that she's in. And I know that you have seen what she's gone through. And I can't imagine for you what, what this has been like to have your daughter have harm done to her outside of her control and then her behavior go way out of control. And so first off, I want you to be able to get support through this. I want you to be able to connect with um, your own counseling, um, your own, again, support, whether that be friends in your life that can help you walk through this um, as well, because this is really, really difficult. I, I think we need a pretty high level of intervention here with your daughter. You know, she you absolutely what 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 Alice was saying, you know, she needs the opportunity to open up and to talk and to and to be able to express what's going on inside of her. But certainly her behaviors are just that, the expression of what she has bottled up inside of her. But that amount of pain and that amount of chaos and fear, um, you know, we if this, this behavior, if we stop the sexual acting out, um, I would definitely start looking around and seeing, you know, is, is there any substance use? Is there any drinking? Um, is there any cutting behavior? But this, these are the types of things that we, or, you know, struggles with food. Is there any restricting of, of food intake? There's all kinds of things we want to assess here. So getting her into a high level of professional help here, a good, good counselor who can assess trauma and trauma reactions and behaviors really, really, really well is super crucial at this time. Faith, um, I want to give you some guidelines here. Uh, number one, this has to be about her and not your pain. Right. Does that make sense? Absolutely. And, yes, and, absolutely. Okay. And I don't sense any of this in you, but, you know, you just want to be sure there aren't any statements about, you know, how this makes the family look or something like that. The second thing is this is not the time to uh, blame your ex, you know, because she was with him 50 50 um, she could have been living with you full-time and this could have happened with you because our kids aren't robots so nothing's going right. to be served by being angry at him what you want is you want him working with you mm -hmm. to deal with it and I think and how you deal are, with we've it come, we've come together okay. we've come together okay, very that's strong good. to work on it so what I would do is I would do my research first but I wouldn't go too much longer without talking with her and here's what I would want to know and we could help you with this I'd want to know is there a counselor uh, that is really good with 14 year old girls and at a minimum she's going to need to be in counseling with a really really good counselor that specializes in teenagers especially young teenage girls the, the next level here is uh, she may need to have a, um, a reboot away from all of the stress and pressure and influences. Mm -hmm. It's obvious that at school she's able to get out of the mainstream, sneak away, things like that. And, of course, people are going to be more aware of it now. But I, I don't know your finances and I don't know what the resources are. But you may need to consider some kind of treatment experience, whether it's uh, her going to a wilderness program, uh, seeing what the financial demands are. There are scholarships available in many places. Uh, I know there's a, I, I work with some folks and in the Dominican Republic, they have a place for situations just like this for girls her age. And you go there for a couple of months and it really is uh, a way to get them out of their environment and under the influence of some really different kind of people. So I'm just saying it's important to explore your options and decide what you're going to do. Um, I think also, um, you know, maybe when you meet with her, you're saying, here's what we're going to do. Mm -hmm. And you meet with her, with, if at all possible, uh, with her father or if not, he's on uh, FaceTime with you and that she sees you're in this together. And you tell her, here's what we're going to do, and we're going to hope that that's going to help you.
But if that doesn't help you, here's the next thing that we're going to have to do. And it's up to you. Uh, and all of this done with love and, and grace and mercy. And when you were her age, if you got into any kind of trouble or struggle or, or any time in your teens, being able to say to her, look, I, I made some, some really crummy mistakes. I know what this is like. It's easy to do, but we're here to help you. And you may not feel like we want to help you. You may feel like we're hurtful or whatever, but one day you'll be grateful because I know down inside you don't want to be this person. You don't. This is a dead end and we're going to help you find a way back. We'll take a break. We'll come right back. 1-800-229-3000. My wife had found me out through my past and my sexual addiction since I was a small child. It really gave me the opportunity to start digging into my past, start digging into my childhood, figure out what was causing me to feel the way I was feeling. Every Man's Battle will really give you that opportunity because all the guys there in that room are there for the exact same reason you're there. I don't want to be the reason that my kids are going to counseling. I don't want to be the reason that they begin to struggle with the same issues that I'm struggling with and I've got to put an end to this. Yes, you can be different. God does love you. You can be forgiven for this and there's a way out of this. But you have to acknowledge that you have to change. Yeah, that there's a problem. If you're struggling, call us. There are people on the other end of the line who want to hear from you, who want to help you. We don't want you to hand down something to another generation that just looks like pain and destruction. You can hand down redemption, but you got to take that first step. Just give us a call. It's 1-800-639-5433. It's 1-800-NEW-LIFE. Hi, this is Steve Arterburn, and for 30 years, New Life has been the most trusted name in Christian counseling. Your ministry has saved my life. If you struggle with emotional hurt, family or marriage problems, the pit of depression, or the pain of addictions, we can help. I'm down 100 pounds now from what I was. You guys are awesome. You are a blessing to America. <laughs> Our treatment programs provide clinically appropriate solutions from licensed professionals all in a biblical framework. I have had problems with alcohol. I think God has ordained this place to be His. You don't have to be a prisoner of your pain. Help is available at 1-800-NEW-LIFE. She tells me that I'm a new man and I feel like a new man. It worked for me and it can work for them too. This time it is different. If you're ready to take the first step toward genuine spiritual and emotional healing, please call us today at 1-800-NEW-LIFE. God can open the door to a better tomorrow right now. Call one 800 new life. That's 1-800-639-5433. We'd love to hear from you. If you have a question or a comment, call toll-free 1-800-229-3000. Now back to New Life Live. We're back. Steve Hardiman here. Uh, Faith, uh, any, any final question for us? Uh, we really uh, hope we can help you here give you the, the best advice possible but anything else you want to ask yeah that was very helpful thank you I would like to know about the programs and the counselors okay. Can, one last question her journal sure. that I read how do you mm -hmm. how, do I share that with her my ex has asked me to share it with the school which I've refused um, to see what, what I, the problems are but I think that's damaging and telling her it, you know I don't know yeah. how to handle that either I think uh, at this point you um, tell her that with 24 tardies, you started to ask yourself, what in the world's going on? This isn't right. And um, as part of that, you did go to her journal to see if there was something there that was going on. And yes, there was. Okay. And what do you think, uh, Chris? Uh, yeah, I, mean, I, I might be wrong on that. No, I, I think that that's right. I, I think that, you know, you saw all of these signs coming up. It, it really, really created a lot of fear and concern for you um, and that you needed to find out and that the yeah. short-term break of trust is worth her long-term health. And that, and I just want to reiterate something that, that Steve said is that, um, you know, the, the, this girl is probably buried in so much shame and pain that you don't want to leave a whole lot of decision making to her. None. And None. so, <laughs> so Faith, you and your husband, you and your ex husband, need to go in with that plan. We'll get, we have some new life counselors out there, and 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 you know start doing the research on some programs, but put together a plan 
And the plan isn't like an option, like, oh, would you like to do this? No, this is exactly right. what we're doing from, from here going forward. And, and one of the most powerful things that you and your ex-husband can do is talk about how you are working on yourself and an active participant in whatever contributed to the problem. We are fully committed right. to looking at ourselves. And, and so it's not, hey, mom and dad are, <clears throat> are blaming all the problems on daughter. No, this is a family problem that we're gonna attack as a family. Yep. And, and Faith, right. her, her anger at you is not the litmus test for the kind of mom that you are, but bracing yourself that she will absolutely mm -hmm. be angry and she will push back. You are doing the right thing. All right. I'm glad that you called. I want you to hold on. Um, I, I really feel for you. I, I want to um, I want to send you to take your life back because if you'll read that and those are the principles that if she gets treatment or counseling, those are the principles that she's going to be following. Where uh, you know she doesn't stay in this mode. And I'm going to ask everybody uh, to pray uh, that we're going to have a breakthrough here. That something is going to happen that will bring her out of this in a way, uh, a redemptive way. And you're going to need a lot of grace, mercy, and support for you, help for you. But um, I really, uh, I, want, I want you to, well, we'll talk to you about some of the options off the air for treatment. Really glad that you called. All right, uh, how about we go to, um, we'll go right over here to... Lois from Colorado Springs, great station, KGFT. Lois, you're on New Life Live. Chris and Alice, Steve Arterburn here. How can we help? Yes, I have a daughter that uh, has marriage problem. And mm -hmm. she, uh, he told her about uh, two and a half years ago he didn't love her anymore. He hadn't loved her for three years. And then about two years ago, he moved out of the home. They had a nice new home, but, I mean, it, it was, they built it. And they'd been married about 19 and a half years when he told her this. And uh, no children. But he just, she thinks he's going through a midlife crisis. But mm -hmm. I don't know what... Uh, I know she's got a little temper problem and yelled at him, but I've been there when they both yelled at each other, and they would not. He would not sit down and talk things over with her. He'd just walk off, and that okay. would make her aggravated. So, but, well, what's the um, question for us then? Well, she wants to know, and and recently she found out that he is dating. He wasn't dating for quite a while, but she noticed his phone, and he comes back. And she noticed on his phone that he was having messages. He comes back to see the dogs. They have two dogs. Mm -hmm. But uh, she wanted to know what about divorce. He wanted a divorce, and mm -hmm. she didn't want to. She didn't want to go that way. They both tried counseling, but he only tried for one time with her and one time yeah. alone. They were both doing it alone uh, one time. And then she did a couple more times, but she gets really discouraged because she felt like as long as he wasn't going out on her, that she couldn't ask for a divorce. She, she didn't have grounds what? for a divorce. But now that okay, she found so out, what, what kind of help whether, is what kind of help is she well, getting for herself? Well, she's not right now at this point. Okay. One of right. her counselors so, just kind of disappeared, but she wanted to know the biblical application now, since he's going out, is it okay for her to try and get a divorce? Okay. Well, we'll give you some help on that, but um, I want to talk to you about a few other things after the break. You're listening to New Life Live. You hold on, Lois. Dr. Alice Benton and Chris Williams, Steve Arterburn here. We want to help you. Uh, we've got a whole video library that we'd like that could be some really, really good stuff for you. It's normally those Club New Life members, it's just for you, but we've opened it up to everybody. Check us out on Facebook. Call us at 1-800-NEW-LIFE and then um, look at newlife.com. We'll be back after this. For 
most of my life I've been dealing with an opiate addiction. Why is opioid addiction quickly becoming one of our nation's biggest killers? Maybe it's because it isn't only those who are addicted who are in denial. We did what I see so many parents do, is it can't be an addiction. There's something medically wrong. It's impossible to solve a problem when you don't know what you're up against, and families will try to find any explanation except the one that will put them on the right path. Alcoholism and drug addiction is a family disease. It doesn't affect just the individual. If someone you love is abusing painkillers, know what you're up against. It's time to admit it's addiction and seek treatment. Call us today at 1-800-NEW-LIFE. We have Christ-centered partner treatment centers around the country. Call 1-800-639-5433 or visit us online at newlife.com. We just made a decision. We will do whatever it takes. 1-800-NEW-LIFE. Hi, this is Steve Arterburn, and for 30 years, New Life has been the most trusted name in Christian counseling. I'm an addict, and I'm trying to get God in my life again. You seem to be able to get to the crux of a problem quickly. Our Christ-centered treatment programs can help you break free to embrace all that God has for you and your family. I just want to thank you guys for bringing me to a relationship with Jesus. There really is help for marital problems, depression, addictions, panic attacks, and feelings of hopelessness. I came back with so many tools to help me prepare myself to fight this struggle and this battle that I have every day. You can start living again today. Living the life God intended for you. Help is available at 1-800-NEW-LIFE. They did care and they did follow up very lovingly and it made all the difference in my life. Call us at 1-800-NEW-LIFE. Someone who cares is waiting at the other end of the phone. God can open the door to a better tomorrow right now. Just call us at 1-800-NEW-LIFE. 1-800-639-5433. We're glad you joined us for New Life Live. To be a part of the program, call 1-800-229-3000. Now back to New Life Live. We're back to you, Bartman here. We're talking to Lois, whose daughter uh, has, I guess, uh, either asked her to call or she's more concerned and she's called. Um, And essentially, we've got a a husband who has left and is dating. Um, You want to start us off, Alice, uh, talking about the situation and and all the different elements here well Lois we see a couple of steps before divorce um, that may or may not have effect but would be important to take to gather information before making that major decision of ending the marriage you're right there is a biblical passage first Corinthians seven fifteen, that if a spouse is abandoned by an unbelieving spouse God does permit divorce but but he asks us to try other things first And one is your daughter continuing to work on her temper that you noticed. And I I love your honesty that you're able to say she does have a problem with that. And it it did probably take a toll on the marriage. So whether or not she stays married, working on that temper issue will benefit her in the long run. But it may influence her husband if he knows and sees that she's doing that work. Um, And then um, requesting, strongly requesting that he return to therapy with her as just at least a last ditch effort. If that doesn't work, I'd have her consider a legal separation before the divorce. Sometimes that can be enough to motivate a spouse when there are changes in the finances, when there's a firm line drawn in the sand, it can wake a person up that didn't seem like they cared before. Yep. And again, um, it's, her working on herself and then asking him based on some work that she's done to enter into some kind of uh, repair or restoration and there are a lot of people that have hit this place they don't know how to get back together and they've come to our marriage intensive Mm -hmm. and it's done it and so that's an option I want you to hold on and we're going to tell you about that off uh, line there and you know all of these intensives that we're doing we're, we either do them uh, as planned because things will clear up by the time we have them or we're going to do them in what we call a decentralized way like our every man's battle for may uh, we've lowered the price and you don't have to pay airfare and and we're going to do it in local cities in local counselors offices while we stream live the lecture stuff so there are a lot of things that you can do uh, that are probably more affordable now. We've got more people that are willing to do tele uh, therapy and counseling than ever before. So 
if you're struggling, you, you've got more options today than ever before. But in the case of this, you know, really, even when it's adultery, uh, you want to do everything you can to try to, to bring this marriage uh, to restoration. And it takes two people. Uh, and, and, and sometimes the one that's done the, the bad thing, well, their target is so big, you think, well, I'm the good guy, that's the bad guy. But still, we've all got things to work on. And sometimes when th rather than just looking at the other person being the whole problem, now, you didn't cause the affair. There's no excuse for somebody having an affair. But you start to work on whatever you can. Sometimes it brings that person back or causes them to want to give a, a second look. Yeah, and Steve, can All I right, jump in jump in with something no, real quickly on that? No, no. no. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Please. Please no, do. I'm good, jump I'm good, in I'm there. Good. So Both feet. Do okay, it. Lois, really quickly. Your daughter has two crises. The first crisis is external. It's her husband who is out of control. It sounds like he's gone cold and dark. You want to do every she wants to do everything she can to repair that, but if not possible, she's just going to let have to let her husband go cold and dark. Unfortunately, yeah. there's a bigger problem because it's one that she actually can do something about. And it's an internal problem of your daughter's fear and passivity. She's having you call in she she is waiting around she's not making any decisions for herself she's constantly deferring to something outside of herself to help her make this decision so uh, i mean again the whole premise around take your life back to start for your daughter to start taking ownership for her experiences for her help for her decisions and my guess is that's where her anger comes from she's probably a volcano who sits in fear and passivity for too long lets it build up lets it build up and then it ends up exploding so that's a that's a problem that doesn't go away um, by husband coming back so that's really something i'd want her to look at mm, very good all right hold on and uh, we'll give you some help here uh, offline uh, let's go to Carrie. Carrie uh, listens on our New Life app, and Carrie does that from New Zealand. So, Carrie, thanks for calling us. How you doing? Good, thank you. It's uh, good to be able to call and ask a question. And I enjoy how, how are you guys doing? Uh, how how is uh, New Zealand with uh, relation to the uh, the virus that's going around? What's going on over there? We're on lockdown. It started midnight last night. Mm. Mm. Okay. So we're we're on lockdown for a month, oh, wow. at least. Wow. Oh my goodness. Well, you know, here you are, um, halfway down under the world, and 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 we truly are all in this together. We really are. But thank you for calling us. How could we help you? Um. Well, um, I'm blind, and um, for many years I've had trouble getting back to sleep. Not every night, but quite often. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, just wondering what I can do to just help myself get back to sleep easier because it can be quite frustrating sometimes. Yeah. Mm. When you when you wake up, what do you do? Uh, sometimes I'll just lie there and mm -hmm. maybe not relax straight away or. Um, yeah. I, and then I, I try to sort of get in a position where I, um, that I like to be in when I go to sleep, but that doesn't always work. So I'll move around and, and then when nothing works, I'll get my phone out and, and um, maybe listen to some music or some rain sounds. I've got this um, rain sounds app. So I try yeah. different things, but yeah, it just gets a bit frustrating sometimes. Mm -hmm. Now I hear you. And uh, it's something I've struggled with. Um, so so much of my life and it's so important to get it right um have, what have you tried have you tried any supplements or anything yeah i've tried all sorts of different ones but a lot of them don't work that well mm -hmm. and uh have you tried magnesium has anybody told you about that yeah i used to have magnesium powder with tart cherry juice and did that help when I first tried it, it did, and then, oh, years later, I tried it again, and after a while, it didn't help so much. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like, well, your body kind um, of gets used to something. Right. Yeah. I think that's important. Um, here, here's what I know. Um, 
There are some supplements on the website that uh, Dr. Amen operates, Brain MD, and he's just come up with a new combination um, of a chewable that helps you to sleep. When I um, went to his clinic and I was talking about sleep, uh, he did recommend uh, two things: magnesium, uh, the powder that, and you, um, you know, it has to actually fizz and all that, and then also this. Um, whatever it is, GABA seems to be mm, uh, yeah. something that helps a lot. I would, um, I would continue okay. to explore those kinds of things. And then I would, um, I don't know what your exercise uh, capacity is or whatever, but um, a lot of people used to say, don't exercise at night, it'll hurt your sleep. But uh, now you're, we're hearing people say, you know, if you have a hard time sleeping, it actually can be the thing that helps you. We also heard, don't take a hot bath. That could cause you to have a difficult time sleeping. But sometimes a really hot bath actually does for people that have a hard time uh, sleeping. And then um, I, I think if there's any um, other thing to explore other than the sounds, raindrops, things like that, uh, really look at there's a new uh, app called calm mm -hmm. and they have a program there of that uh, helps you to sleep so let's ask our uh, clinicians oh, okay. here what they think would be good those are just my practical tips from my own yeah, experience thank you for those. Yeah, I, yeah i i personally use the calm app since in the last two years i have developed sleep issues and so there's this thing called i didn't know this um sleep hygiene and uh I realized that looking at my phone right before bed was not conducive to my sleep. Um, uh, higher levels of anxiety, obviously, stress. You know, the, the more that we're aroused, meaning the more that we're carrying stress inside of us, the harder it is to sleep, and especially when we wake up. Yeah. And so really taking care of ourselves throughout the day. And then one other thing is that uh, Steve mentioned it. it when I don't burn physical energy throughout the day, I have a harder time sleeping. And so mm -hmm. as a therapist, I sit a lot. So I've got to get up and move my body and exercise and, and, and burn some of that energy out. But the call map has been really helpful for me. There's a, yep. a, a saying that a clear okay. conscience is the best pillow. And so we also have to look at, are there unresolved emotional issues? Is there unfinished business we haven't oh, taken good, care Alice. of? Because our yeah. brain wakes us up with that to-do list. Oh, that's really good. Well, Carrie, I'm so uh, thankful that you called, and uh, we've got some audio uh, books and things I'm going to send you all the way to New Zealand. We'll be back after this. My wife asked me for the first time in 2011 if I would consider myself a sex addict, so I signed up. You know, I'd read the Every Man's Battle book, and it was a great book, but the workshop, it was the experience that really was key for me. If, if they go to EMB, they're going to be in good hands. You know, this is a safe place. They're going to be surrounded by men that simply walk the talk. The weekend leaders that they will go through this workshop with, they'll help them to get to the root of their issues. You know, I've been through a number of well-preached sermons, listened to and read countless books, uh, been to a number of seminars. But EMB for me was, it was a game changer. It truly saved my life. Being in this community, being in this workshop, being around these men will change them if they'll let them. You're going to encounter men that will meet you where you're at, and you will instantly walk into a safe place where they're welcome. If you're struggling, call us. We don't want you to go on struggling. Just give us a call. It's 1-800-639-5433. It's 1-800-NEW-LIFE. I was really living a very anxiety-filled life. I turned on New Life, and the topic that day was about anxiety. And just by listening, I got relief. You can help New Life Live stay on the air by joining Club New Life today. When you sign up to support us monthly through Club New Life, we'll send you the Transformation Welcome Gift, which includes a personal-sized life recovery Bible, a life recovery journal, and five life recovery workbooks. Plus, there are ongoing benefits, like access to the Club New Life video library, the monthly Club New Life CD or download, quarterly resources, free shipping on purchased resources, and discounts on workshops. I did go to Take Your Life Back. That's been immensely helpful to me. That's why I continue to support the ministry with the hope that it not only am I helping my own situation, that I'm helping others as well. Support Club New Life, and together we can help hurting people find help and hope in life's hardest places. Call 1-800-639-5433 to join Club New Life today.
To find out more information about New Life or to order any of the resources mentioned on today's program, call 1-800-NEW-LIFE. Now back to New Life Live. We're back. Steve Arterburn here, 1-800-229-3000. We'll do another program after this. Let's go to Paula, Sacramento, California. Love that station up there, KFIA. Paula, how are you today? What's going on? I'm oh, I'm doing so great. Thank you. I, I just, Steve, I just, I'm calling out of great gratitude for New Life Ministries because in 1999, I was in a very emotional verbal abusive marriage i didn't know what to do i called joyce meyer's ministry and they led me to you all the new life ministries and mm. um they got me in touch with david weaver my counselor i oh, would Dave. listen to your Love shows Dave. and i uh, read all your books uh especially boundaries and marriage where the back of the book boundary resistant spouse was like a coloring book because I had it highlighted so much and <laughs> uh, my ex went to three sessions with me and on the third one he got up stormed out of the room and said if this is what it takes to you know save a marriage I'm out of here so anyway I continue wow. to learn from you all and you saved my life you've changed my life I found out what a boundary was and I've applied that to my life I continue to learn and I'm so very grateful the part that I feel bad about is I haven't faithfully been giving to New Life. I do here and there, but I, two months ago, re, uh, started tithing 10% and putting my full trust in God. And I'm going to take $50 of that money and faithfully start donating to New Life Ministries. Mm. And I just thank you so very much for helping me in my life and mm. the lives of so many others. God bless you all. Thank you so much. Paula, um, I can't uh, thank you enough because I'm hoping this is going to inspire some other folks uh, that maybe haven't given, but will. I'm, I'm grateful for you. I'm grateful we've been able to help you. And even Very when much. you have a husband that says, um, I, I'm not, I'm not going to do this, uh, there's always I, hope, even in the worst of times. And um, you, you just seem like you've got a really great attitude about things and I'm grateful you. that you found us, and I'm so thankful for your support, and and I'm thankful that you cared enough uh, to call us because, um, as you can imagine, with everything that's going on, we, we need support now more yes. than ever. So thank Absolutely. you so much. Yes. Let me send you, yes. uh, let me send okay. you a um, restoration Bible uh, just to say thanks for oh, calling. Thank God you bless very, you. Very and, much. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. God bless you too. All right, now you hold on because I want to be sure if you're giving that every month that you're part of Club New Life. And, you know, when you sign up for Club New Life, you get the transformation package, which is a life recovery Bible, the regular workbook that's there. And then there's the life recovery journal, which is really amazing. It's a directed journal through four seasons of recovery. Then uh, we send you uh, the, the, the workbook that's always been and the new workbooks that help you with grieving if you've been through a divorce eating disorder and and one for a lot of folks that need it sexual integrity and purity that's our way of saying thank you a big thank you to larry sonnenberg who's in the studio right now larry let's talk about the challenges that we're up against and ask people to help us well um, while i'm while doing that i also want to say thank you to paula what an encouragement mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. it, it, yeah. this morning in devotions a staff member asked because one of our prayers was just that we would uh, continue to gain on support because support has dropped a little bit the past few weeks, actually quite a bit. But uh, one of the staff members asked, uh, are people canceling Club New Life? Are you seeing a lot of cancellations? And I said, no, we're actually not. And I'm so grateful for Club New Life. And if you're somebody like Paula who kind of felt bad that she hadn't been doing what she kind of thought she maybe should have with New Life, would you step up and, and maybe join Club mm -hmm. New Life as well? Yeah. Um, it's a tough time. and But you know, uh, Steve, you alluded to the Martin Luther thing earlier on. And if you think about it, th I mean, that was 500 years ago that he yeah. wrote, wrote this prayer. And so it, we so often think we're just in a unique situation. Nobody's ever dealt with this before. But that was the plague. Mm -hmm. And this is not the plague. It's pretty serious, but it's a little different. And I just yeah. want to affirm it and ensure people that we're going to keep going. This ministry is moving ahead. We're doing a lot of different things. 
uh, to be able to do what, what God wants us to do to help you give, live a life of redemption and restoration and transformation. So your support is vital and critical as it's ever been. And we just need you to step up. If you could make a single gift for a Club New Life, we would be deeply, deeply grateful, as would the people who benefit from it. So you call 1-800-NEW-LIFE uh, and, um, and just help us. And one of the things, if you were uh, here as, as part of this organization, uh, you know, you never know uh, what people are fully like until there is a crisis. And in this crisis, what I've sensed from all of our people, except that one guy, uh, all of our people, they, they just said, come on, let, let's, let's dig in and let's help people in a totally uh, new way. I mean, everybody is up for this. And so help us because we are, we're doing anything that we can uh, to help folks. And we, we, we just want to be there for you. 1-800-NEW-LIFE. You can call. We've got the website, the videos. Uh, we're doing whatever we can on Facebook. Uh, so let us help you. But if you can, you help us. Thank you, Larry. Mm -hmm. and, and, and I think, yep, go ahead. I was going to say, Steve, this is a great time. I mean, for many of us, we have more time on our hands, to be quite honest. And we can yeah. sit in our anxiety. We can sit in our worries. Or we could... Um, just keep feasting on our news feeds or we can invest in ourselves here's the good news all pandemics end and this one's going to yeah. end too and right. how are we going to be at the end of this are That's we right. going to be more anxious are we going to be more disconnected are we going to be more passive in our social media or are we going to be healthier and stronger and contribute more to god's kingdom at the end of this right yep. and no matter no matter what you're going through, whether it's you have the virus or all of a sudden you're having to do e-learning with your children mm -hmm. and you wish you had never had children as a result of that. <laughs> Amen, <laughs> brother. <Whatever> it is, <laughs> God is there for you. Yes. And, uh, you know, uh, a lot of times um, we, we, we think that everybody should be able to homeschool and instead we become homicidal. And uh, <laughs> if, if that's the case, uh, call, get some help, don't do it. Uh, and you kids, if you're listening, come on, give your parents a break. But anyway, uh, God's you, there for you, wants to strengthen mm -hmm. you, and we're here for you, and we know it's not easy on anybody. Steve, do you have a few more of those things from Diane, what Diane yeah, sent out? Yeah, I've got them right here. I was going to do that. And uh, the, the next one is the teacher said, uh, here, let me help you virtually to teach your children. We'll be online with lessons, and I'll help parents enrich their children. A celebrity said, let's read some books to your children and sing songs on Twitter. Do some live feeds for those of you that are stuck inside. Here's another one. Crafter said, hey, we'll sit at our sewing machines for hours a day, sewing masks and caps for the nurses and the home health care workers. Mom said, here are my blogs and activity ideas for your children. Let's stand together and staying home with our kids. And young Americans said, let's volunteer to run errands and get food mm -hmm. to the vulnerable. And mm -hmm. nurses and doctors are putting themselves at risk to help the infected. The police, firefighters, first responders, and military are standing strong and continuing to protect, serve, and work while everyone else is safe in their homes. And we may look like a nation divided sometimes, but we're a nation that will stand and will fight together. We will survive this. Isn't that a great, great uh, encouragement to all of us? And all of the people listened here, thank you. Uh, thank you. For, I, I was uh, watching a live show when Mark Cuban said, you know, we, we can't do basketball, but we're going to pay uh, the workers that would show up for the games. We're going to pay them as if the game was happening. We're here Things like that. We're here another hour. Yeah. 1-800-229-3000. Thanks for reminding me, Larry. And uh, we'll be here for Thanks you. For Come listening. join us. We hope this program has helped you by giving you insights for handling the challenges you face in your life. We want you to know that we're here for you. But you also need to know that New Life Live is a listener-supported ministry. To make your donation or to get any of the resources mentioned on today's program, call 1-800-NEW-LIFE. That's 1-800-639-5433 or write to us at New Life Ministries, P.O. Box 1029, Lake Forest, California, 92609. Please join us again tomorrow for New Life Live.
Hi, Steve Arterman here. Thanks for watching New Life Live on our New Life YouTube channel. You know, you can see it anytime. Hope you'll subscribe. And when you do, hope you'll turn that little button thing on the bell so that whenever we post a new video, it'll ring right through. Now, if you go to newlife.com, you'll see the schedule of when we're in the studio, which is helpful to know if you have a question for the program. Or you could go to newlife.com or call us at 1-800-NEW-LIFE. You could do this on the app. I mean, there's so many ways that you can stay in touch with us and know when we're there because we want to answer your questions. So thanks for watching right here on the New Life YouTube channel, and we'll see you next time. Click here to subscribe.